Welcome back to y 254 channel. You have been watching Why in the Morning. The previous interview has been with Karanja Alex. My name is Joy Mochache. Once again, this is Tuesday Entrepreneurship. If you want to reach out to us, you can do so on Why in the Morning hashtag and hashtag Tuesday Entrepreneurship. And the social media handles are right there at the bottom of the screen. Right now, we're about to talk to a florist who goes by the name of Mr. Wangboa. And he's going to tell us, actually introduce himself and tell us how long he's been in the business before we start this interview. You can find me on particular social media platforms on Joy underscore. Mochache. Karibu sana, sir. Sandy sana. Yes. My name is uh, Simon Mora. Yes. Wabogo, maybe. Uh -huh. Some people call me Wabogo, others Mora. Uh -huh. Wabogo so, Mora. Uh -huh. Wabogo Mora. Uh -huh. So I'm a florist. Yes. Uh, and I've been to this business for like 15, 10 to 15 years. Uh -huh. So I'm like that. Okay. Yes. 10 to 15 years. Yes. I see. Good. And what is the particular place at which you're based? Okay, I'm based in Westlands. Okay. A place called uh, Unga House. Just Unga House. okay next to Unga House, but it's the place is called uh, Shamir Court. Shamir Court. Yes. Ah. Yeah, I'm going to Yes, next to. Yeah. Next to. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. So 10 years is a long time to do something. Yes, yes. That means that you're quite experienced in it. Sure. All right. Mm -hmm. And your family man, you're telling me with wife yes, and I'm children. Yes, family man. All right. Also 10 years. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so let's start by asking a question, which I'm sure a lot of our viewers want to know. Okay. When it comes to um, this florist business, yes. how does it go about in supporting your family? The flower business is not bad because I've been there for uh, the time I've seen, and I think uh, I I can't I, I think to me I can't do anything else. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm okay with that business. You're whatever okay I get, that. whatever I do, I'm, I'm okay. I'm happy. You're okay. You're happy. Yes, I love the job. Yeah. Yes. You're supporting your people. Yes, I support so many other people. Yes, I just call it like the bridge. Yes. So many people have used the bridge and. They're now on the other side. Yes. Yes. But there's nothing wrong with doing a florist business, you know? No. Yes, there's nothing wrong because once again, flowers are beautiful. Yeah, I particularly love yes. flowers. Yeah. I have to have some on my dining table. Okay. After every week, I change them. That's how much I love flowers. Good. Yes. And so let's start by learning your journey a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay. Now, the way I feel myself in flowers, it's not that I, 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 I just uh, planned that I would like to be a florist. It's only that one day I woke up. I was in another uh, in another area. Okay. So like the way people are complaining in Kenya that they have three four months not paid. Mm. It happened to me like in twenty two or four around uh, that time. Mm. So when I was seated in the house, very much job brush. A friend and of not mine getting came. Paid. Yes. Yeah. A friend of mine came to into my house, and I was just there, uh, like a useless man. So he told me. <laughs> Good morning, and I said, yeah, morning, but I'm not so happy. So uh, he told me that I have a place I can take you, yeah. and maybe you can try to see whether you, you can get into to the business they're doing. And I told him, okay, very fast. I woke up and we went there. So only to realize is that in, it's in flowers. So I didn't know anything about flowers. But the people who, who are there, they, they, are very f they were very friendly. Uh, in flower business, it's about uh, curiosity, and you want to, to, to know more. You want to know to know a lot in flowers. So uh, the time I arrived there, I was I was shown you you are supposed to start like this. You are supposed to do this. Yeah. This is how you take uh, care of the flowers. This is how you handle them. And I was there. Within one, two, three days, I started moving on slowly, slowly, slowly. Within one, two, three weeks, I could do something. Hmm. Yes. Within one, two, three weeks. Yes. You are into it. Yes. And um, you said that there's not nothing you see yourself doing at the moment. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And I like the way you said that you're at home. Yes. And your friend just came over. Yeah. He said good morning. Good morning. And there was nothing good about the morning. Yes. <laughs> because it you're not being bad. paid. Because I had like three, I think I had three days uh, very hungry. I, I don't can. I think uh, supper and, uh, and a, brief, a breakfast in like a day before. Mm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And um, even if you wanted to start another business at that point, you couldn't because, again, you're not being paid in Haukwana Capital. Yes. 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 Yeah. So basically, you had no way out. And the very funny thing on uh, that week, uh, I used to stay in uh, Nukabete, Kiabu. Yes. So Kiabu, there is a place called Moemuto. So Moemuto. Mm. Now, I was uh, moving to, I was called to go to, uh, to town. So I was trekking from Moemuto. To town every day. 
And so I, I remember this day, and I'll never forget. Mm -hmm. uh, I had 20 shillings in my pocket. Mm -hmm. So uh, these uh, touts came to, and I was on stage there waiting for La Matatu. And uh, I told God, oh, please let, let these people accept, accept my 20 shillings. By the time I stopped the Matatu, uh, the, mata the Makanga came and, and I showed him 20 shillings. They were, they were asking, I think, for 40. So I told him, I have 20. He did like this. Oh. So uh, Gosh. I, I wondered, what have I done? I took my 20 bob into the pocket. So the the Mudufari, you know this, uh, the, we used to call them Mudufaris, these uh, buses, the KBS. Mm -hmm. So those days they were in, in the, the, that router. Mm -hmm. So what, what I did, mm -hmm. I entered through the back door. Okay. And I went to, so I, I saw the, the conductor coming. Eh? Yes. So I followed in. They used to, to get from the, uh, the first door and they're getting to the other door. So as the, he went out, I also went inside with the, the same speed. So as he was starting from the other line, I went out from the other door. So I went to town free of charge. Yeah. That is how my life started. You're being naughty. <laughs> but you had to make your way to town. <laughs> yeah, I had to make my way to town. Yes. So uh, through the abysses I got from the other tout, the other one I got a blessing. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Mm. Ah, okay. So that is how I, I managed to be in town. Mm. And from there, uh, that is how I got into flower business. That is a very interesting yes, story. Yes. I like this because I know there's someone who's watching, who's feeling encouraged. Good. Because mm. you're not the only one. There's yes. a lot of people sitting at home on their couches, yes. jobless. Mm. You know how Kenya is at the moment. Mm. Employment, nishira kubwa. So what to tuwa miketi tu ivoki watch TV ama tu. Work is stress, yes. Nona. Uh. And um, I'm glad that you brought a light, you've shed light into this business of, of doing flowers. Yes. What, how do you go about, now let's start about the business, Sasa. You've told us about your journey, about where you're based and how long you've been doing it and how, why you started doing it. Yes. Now let's talk of the business itself a little bit. Mm. How do you go about making arrangements for your flowers? Because it takes a creative mind to do so. Yes, arrangements, like I've, I've, I've said, so there's where you start, there's how you add. Yeah. There's the way you start it and the way you add it. Yes. So uh, there's a way we call, if you're doing a, a, a table arrangement like for this table, mm -hmm. you automatically need to have a, a holder, something to hold water. Yeah. That is usually how, usually use a pre record, pre -crick, crick pots, okay. all plastic plates. Mm. So f from that end you get um, something we call foam, oasis. So you dip the oasis into water, not like the way you get clothes and dip and you start pushing in water. No, you just put it in water and it goes down slowly by slowly. Once it's fully watered, you take it, you put it in the, the clay pot and you do the, you get something called the mesh wire, the one that usually yeah. use it uh, to kufuga kuku mesh wire. So, so you, you cut the piece that is equal to the size of the pot. From there you get something called uh, binding, binding wire. Binding so that wire. one is the one that is going to to tie from up, mm -hmm. and it's now very strong. Mm -hmm. From there, you get the knife. Mm -hmm. Flowers are done with knives, not uh, either pangas or axes. No, just small knives like like this size. Mm -hmm. So you start once you de decide the arrangement design you want to do. No, you you are there. You come with the flowers. They're set, you finish with leather fans. The, the flowers are done. Mm. Yes. Kwa ni ukuletea maua ya hii meza leo? Oh, okay. Whenever I came from a distance. No, it's okay, you don't have to answer. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, I was just disturbing you a little bit. Yes, but that is a hint. Feel free to bring us some flowers. I could come, I could have some to arrange here and you could have just like what I'm doing. I know I could have. Yes, yes. Aha. All right, so we've learned a little bit about how you go about doing your arrangements. What exactly do you do your arrangements for? What kind of events? Okay, arrangements are for so many occasions, like one, it's like for your office, you can have an arrangement here, like when you're doing your interviews, you can have an arrangement. As so many offices require, government offices require flowers. Everybody requires uh, flowers, because flowers, once yeah. you see the flower, like, um, if you're, you're so much stressed, and you just go somewhere and you look at a flower, your mind get a kind of relaxation. You, are, you relax, That's and true. you get another, you get another lead. Yeah. So 
I, I usually see so many people. They usually come to my place. Not they're not buying. They just come and enjoy red flowers, yellow flowers, white, nini plants. And you just see somebody now. I'm a part of my, my shamap here. Namenda, free of charge. Mm. There's other people who usually come to my place as well. I've talked of Oasis. A form. Uh, uh, this one is a little bit uh, funny. Mm. Like, you know, when somebody is uh, uh, just about to get a, a baby uh -huh. in pregnant stages. Mm -hmm. eh? So, uh, like, in my case, I've seen it in, uh, like, for my wife. She, she liked to have petrol. <laughs> petrol. You know, when I go to petrol, the to fill like car, a car, I had to, to carry another kibuyu yeah. with, with me home, eh? so that she can get the smell, the smell every yeah. time, which is happy. Yeah. So I have some people who usually come there, they like to get the wasis, and the, the, their joy is only to place the, the wasis, to get that noise. And they are happy and they are <laughs> human beings. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are you serious? Welcome to my present. Just to you just, you'll be very happy. You and press that wasis. You place it and mm. once you are, you are tired or you are satisfied, you get your way. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I uh, can understand for a pregnant woman because kuna cravings for very strange things, yes. strange smells yes. and everything. Pay through others, fruits, uh, anything. Mm. Nyukweli, anything. Mm. Even other zimo, shiagari, it's yes. weird. Mbaka unajuliza shuali. Mm. Yes. And then immediately the baby has gone. It's a different story. Yes, ah, mm. that one is gone. Yes. yes. So I'm glad that you brought up the importance of flowers in making people happy and changing their moods. Yes. And you know we have been talking for quite some time. I know it doesn't seem like so, but time has flown. Yes. And we have to close our interview a little bit soon. But we cannot do that without playing, uh, showing some of your work. Okay. Because if anyone is at home and is interested in Mr. Mora doing an arrangement for you, we're going to show up. Uh, display some of his photos as we continue to talk so that Muziangalia and I'm scared more uh, whether you can reach reach out to him call him up so that uh, he can do an arrangement for you yes. and towards the end you'll also have to leave ways in which people can contact you come on social media ma, whichever number business number or something yes, yes. Uh, before the pictures come so you know we've talked about how flowers change people's moods they make them happy at Aqua Hospitali yes you find that um, and and that's the thing and I don't know why people don't put two and two together about flowers, you know. When you're going to see someone sick in hospital, why do we take them flowers? Have we ever asked? It's because they actually brighten someone's mood. Now, what do I do? There's something they do to you just by looking and smelling them. Yes. Yeah. So, um, let me ask, when it comes to your expertise on arrangements of flowers, yes. 10 years is a long time, sir. 10 years is a long time. 10 years is a long mm. time. And are you interested in branching off and creating a different, uh, how can I say, different branches of your yes, business okay. around Nairobi? So in matters pertaining to opening other branches, okay, flower, florist, flower business is full. It's, it's like everywhere in Kenya. Mm. We have florist in Mombasa, we have florist in Eldoret, mm. I think Nakuru. Mm. And on that, on that note, we have uh, associations of flowers. Mm. And as, as much as we have so many associations, uh, like now it's a few, few years ago, uh, we had elections <coughs> and I have been the chairman for flowers, flower vendors in Kenya so for some time but now uh, the association is like it's not a little bit dormant so I'm calling also the florists to come up again yeah. and we start again and build this industry again. Yes. 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 Uh, good. Yes. Um, lastly, yes. you said and your flowers by the way are playing on display on air right now as we speak. Okay. And lastly, you said that you export flowers outside of Kenya. Okay, the, we have florists in Tanzania. Yes. And uh, so, um, also the florists in Dar es Salaam and uh, in uh, florists in Dar es Salaam and in, mm -hmm. uh, okay, TZ. TZ in Dar es Salaam, did you? Yes, yes. Yes, Dar es Salaam. I have florists in uh, Dar es Salaam. So, mm -hmm. we usually give them flowers. Mm -hmm. And uh, others are in uh, uh, Mobasa. You know, Mobasa. sometimes people used to say that Mobasa is Kenya. <laughs> so when Mobasa terms not to be Kenya, Mubasa so now we should give them flowers as well. Uh, yes. I see. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Because uh, Nairobi is uh, the highest uh, producing area of mm. flowers. Yes. Nairobi flowers. is the highest producer. And I yes. learned this recently. Nairobi mm. is the largest producer of flowers, mm. even to Europe. Mm. That's madness. Uh, I didn't so, know that. So I was many like, people what? Flowers, we get a lot of tons to airport every day hey. to be transported. So we usually work wow. with another grade. Yeah. But okay, the, the, the best grade goes to 
to Europe and other the good flowers. Yes, the best, the the best. best. Um, but happy uh, you guys. But you should <laughs> you try to maintain that and you work with that and mm. we are happy with, mm. with it. And actually the Europeans don't know those flowers have come from Kenya. They that think we're here starving. They don't. they don't. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's very interesting. That's very interesting. I've I've had a, a very great time looking at some of the photos of the arrangements that you're doing yes. and i've had a great time talking to you here on on air okay. and learning about what you're planning to do with your business yes. and i wish you the best of luck in that venture Thank you. and i do hope that um, you'll be able to open these different branches yes. if you are to open a branch on one of your own what would you call it oh how like would no. you name it yes the one i have i've been working with this like decorators and floor designers yes because it was live is uh, uh, I just thought this name a little bit uh, good, Westlife, and it's like in Westlands, and there's life in it. Yeah. So West life. and life. Mm -hmm. So then the other one is deco, decorations, uh -huh. and designs. Because in 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 flowers is uh, you you have all those things in you have creativity. Mm -hmm. You can be told by a car and do this, mm -hmm. and maybe she or he do, don't have an an idea what I need to do. Oh yeah. But when I come in there. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be able to expose mm -hmm. what now she requires all here. Yeah. So, uh, that, uh, it's just a tick. It's just a tick. Yes. Ah, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, um, thank you so much for coming. Yes. And thank you so much for tuning into Tuesday Entrepreneurship. Thank you. This has been Why in the Morning. There's one more interview that we have with one Barry Moses with two beautiful, gorgeous ladies from the pageant. And you guys, we are not through. This is Why in the Morning. Hashtag Tuesday Entrepreneurship. Find me on Joy underscore Mochacha if you need and if you must. And since I have shared where to find me, you must share where to find you. Kamera Kondirile. Okay. So, if you want to find me, you get me in Westlands, and my number, uh, you can get me in 0721, uh -huh. 21 again, uh -huh. 2715. Uh -huh. That one is Nikama Hesabu, 0721, you repeat it again, uh -huh. 